Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I want to talk about a new upcoming RISC-V SBC. And as you can see, it's launched on Kickstarter. It's called the Vision 5.2. So that means that there was also a Vision 5, you could say 1. So this is the new generation. And as you can see, I have already backed it. And on the first day, uh, there was, or there is, still is a super early bird. And that will, if everything goes according to plan, ship November 2022. And after one day, they also launched a super early bird, eight gigabyte version. And that will be delivered, hopefully, at the end of this year, December 2022. And yeah, I want to have the eight gigabyte model. And the thing with the super early bird models is that they will come with two ethernet ports but only one of them will be gigabit. And well, for me, that's no problem because one ethernet port would have been sufficient for me. So I don't really care about the second port, but if that's really important for you, then it's better just to order one of the other ones, but those will be delivered like February 2023. So I also have to say that the prices are, in my opinion, quite competitive. And I think they're roughly half of the original SBC and you do get two more cores and a better GPU. So yeah, it's really a good deal in my opinion so um, yeah it has a slot for a micro SD card so you can boot from micro SD or at least I assume you can boot from micro SD uh, there's room for an eMMC card or chip and there's also a M2 slot here it says for SSD um, but it doesn't come with uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and I have the suspicion that the M2 slots uh, can also be used for a Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth card but that would mean that um, you don't have the option for the SSD anymore so but there do exist um, combined Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, USB sticks. So hopefully uh, one of those will work on RISC-V Linux. And that's probably also why they show you a Wi-Fi dongle here, because it doesn't come standard. And here they show the SSD in the NVMe slot. So they say that they already have Debian and Ubuntu and Fedora will come later for this SBC uh, because with the original SBC, I think Ubuntu already supports it. So that's looking good. And I think these prices are Singaporean dollars. So yeah, you have to look here for the US dollar prices. And the eight gigabyte model is $85, um, excluding the shipping cost. 
so this new SBC will get a new chip and it will be a quad-core U74 RISC-V chip and it will get a GPU from Imagination Technologies and so here in the spec sheet they say it supports OpenGL ES 3.2 OpenGL um, level 2 I think and Vulkan 1.2 Oh no, 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 that's, sorry, that's OpenCL 1.2. Sorry about that. Um, so it does have a HDMI port up to 4K 30 Hertz. And also some other input output. Uh, two Ethernet ports. Um, so, but when you go for the super early bird, then only one of them will be gigabit. Um, hopefully they have the GPU drivers working out of the box. So it does have uh, H.265 decoders and also an encoder, 1080p 30Hz and also H.264 decoder and well, I assume that they will also have an encoder. So when you look at the benchmarks, then on the CPU side, it looks very similar, at least from the benchmark, to the ARM A57 cores. So that looks really similar. And then you can also see that on the CPU side, it's a little bit behind the Raspberry Pi 4, which has the A72 cores, which are the big cores and let's just say the A50 family, those are the little cores. So they also did a presentation. So here you can see the power consumption. So I'm not really sure if this is like, let's just say sleep mode or let's just say running idle mode. Um, yeah, 120 milliwatts, full load, it seems it's like 4.1 watts, which is really low. And this should also uh, open the possibility of putting it into a handheld or and or possibly in a phone and I think here that when they only push the CPU cores, then it's 3.3 watts. So this is without the GPU. So they claim they have the GPU drivers working and that the vendor, and I assume that's Imagination Technologies, will provide the open source driver library for Mesa. So that sounds good. And then hopefully compared to the Raspberry Pi 4 that we really see much, much better GPU performance. And here they will show you some multitasking performance, uh, probably from a pre-release board. So you see, well, judging from the title, a 480p video and super tux card and also doing some OpenGL stuff all at the same time. So it does look like that um, this can be used as a desktop machine. Um, yeah, probably you should not expect like Intel i3 performance, but um, yeah, probably a slightly slower Raspberry Pi 4, but with a much, much better GPU 
because they claim they have the GPU driver and that it will also get the Mesa support. Now, there's always a warning with Kickstarter because uh, even when you pay, there's no guarantee at all that you will get the product or that the product will meet the specs as promised. But since this is from a company that has released RISC-V boards before, then I have high confidence that the product will be delivered, it will meet the specs, and well, of course we have to wait to sit, uh, wait about the situation with COVID and also with the logistics in the chip world. But I have good hope that I will receive my Risk Five SBC by the end of this year, and well, if it's not by the end of this year, then it will be in the first quarter of next year, or at least that's my expectation. So, I hope you're also excited about this SBC and that you will also consider buying one. So, um, hopefully, on Kickstarter. But if you don't want to take the risk, then you can just wait. And then probably somewhere next year, it will probably show up on sites like AliExpress, uh, perhaps also like a Meridroid. So when you really want to be sure, then you can wait for those options. This is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.